cannot make a work of art without structure. You don't go for poetry to begin with. You don't go for magic. John Jonas is a fundamental figure in the artistic and cultural landscape of the last 50 years. Um, she is someone who has been challenging dramatically um, the disciplines and the languages and what she did, she did always ahead of time. But in one word, John Jonas is an artist. It's sculpture, really, if you think of it as sculpture, it has to, everything has to have a relationship and a position in relation to the whole. It's very important. John Jonas is a, um, an artist. Her background is actually art history, so she knows art history very well. And uh, when she started challenging sculpture, what she, what she did actually at the end of the 60s through film and performance, she understood that it's all about uh, positioning her own body and the body of other performers in space and how they look. How, what does it mean for someone to look at this? And what does it mean for someone looking at this, looking as not as a stage, but as an actual environment, a space that becomes a space where we are not excluded, but we are part of, potentially part of. Also Andrea Lissoni und ich äh, haben Joan besucht in New York und sind immer wieder im Dialog gewesen. Der Austausch, Vorschläge, Gegenvorschläge, man schaut sich die Räume an, man überlegt, was könnte da reinpassen. Und natürlich eine Künstlerin, die immer weiter arbeitet, deswegen auch immer interessant zu wissen, woran sie gerade arbeitet und wir haben auch absichtlich in der Ausstellung deswegen auch einen Platz gelassen, weil wir schon geahnt haben, dass wir sicherlich eine neue Arbeit äh, integrieren können. Well, it's great to have the exhibition here now after these years and I'm glad that it was delayed in a way because um, it became something slightly different. In the last six years, the work of John Jonas has changed uh, in a very uh, unusual way. She's been focusing more and more on water and particularly on what happens under the water, and not anymore only on oceans and seas, but also on why water is important um, for all of us, why it's such a, um, a relevant topic, but also such a relevant element for the um, survival of the planet, and why it is uh, affected by the um, behavior of human beings that are definitely uh, endangering water and therefore the entire ecosystem. At least I can bring to the attention, for instance, in the moving off the land about the ocean, I can bring the attention to the beauty of the ocean and the creatures in it and what's being lost. Well, one of the fundamental questions of uh, why art is still important and so relevant is not only that it enables um, encounters that are unexpected, that make us think, that generate wonder and marvel, but also because art uh, still has this incredible power of producing rituals that are unexpected, that are not known, that are not part of the repertoire of the society, neither religious or uh, folkloristic or uh, sport-related uh, rituals. Performing to interacting with Base with her own body aging and, and taking different shapes, but also covering her body with uh, clothes that she often makes and combines. Deploying form of dance, movement, with shadow, with herself, with her own animals, with her own dog. She has been, uh, throughout 50 years, generating small, unexpected, unknown rituals. I think we have no clue about what it is, but at its own component of magic, wonder, humor, um, and gravity as well. It's like any work, of course it will influence people. And if you tell a story, people remember parts of it or the whole thing, and so that affects them. But that's not my main purpose. My purpose is to um, bring the idea of storytelling and myth and poetry into the work and basing my structures on those things. So if I say poetic, it's not about beauty of sound, it's about the structure. You cannot make a work of art without structure. You cannot structure and form. So you don't go for poetry to begin with. You don't go for magic. Then it becomes very self-conscious. I can't say, oh, I'm going to be magical. No, I can't do that. I have to deal with the concrete 
uh, material and arrange it and show it. And then something comes out of that. Ja, der Spiegel ist ein sehr prägnanter, prägnantes Element in ihrem Werk. Also das findet man schon ganz früh in einer Arbeit von 1968, die Wind heißt, Wind. Und diese Arbeit, da tragen die Personen, also Joan und ihr Co-Performer in dieser Arbeit, tragen sie ein Kostüm, wo eben Spiegel angebracht sind. Und die Spiegel tauchen immer wieder auf. Und ich finde die ein sehr interessantes Element, weil die natürlich auch den Blick zurückwerfen. Und da ist Joan jemand, die sich sowieso sehr stark auch mit der Kamera auseinandersetzt, mit der Rahmung. Und da ist der Spiegel natürlich so ein sehr interessantes Element, weil es rahmt, aber gleichzeitig auch einen Blick zurückwirft. Und wohin schauen wir? Also wo ist, der, wo ist die Macht des Blickes sozusagen? Und das kann man sehen, aber auch in einer anderen Art von Spiegelung, die sie kreiert, wie I Want to Live in the Country, eine Videoarbeit aus den 70er Jahren, wo es eine, quasi nicht der Spiegel ist, aber es ist eine Spiegelung, die in, im quasi Monitor stattfindet. Dann wiederum der Spiegel ja, in den verschiedensten anderen Arbeiten und auch natürlich ihre Performance, die wir auch zeigen, Mirror Piece. Und da ist der Spiegel ein elementares Teil. In the Mirror Pieces, for instance, the performance, From the very beginning, one of my um, ideas is to alter the audience's perception through, like with the mirrors, they actually change your way of seeing the world when you sit, when you sit there for 20 minutes looking at the moving mirrors. And um, so I've used certain devices like uh, the idea of distance and how does that change, alter the image, and you see that in song delay. It delays the sound. And in terms of video, passing the image through the video camera into the projection and playing with that alters the image. I started making cones in the, in the 70s, in the early 70s. I thought about the shape and the form of a cone, certain forms, the circle and the line is another motif. You know, dealing with forms, sculptural forms, um, all kinds of audio forms. There are certain motifs that go through my work. She's not someone who uh, has to do with dance or theater. She has rather to do or with film. She has rather to do with sculpture, space, and time. Therefore, when she performs, uh, she moves into the space with a very uh, specific awareness of what the space is and how much it matters in the view of the audience, but also in the view of the camera that will, at some stage, uh, mediate or bring that performance into her work. Well, for people trying to, you know, experiencing my work for the first time, I would ask them to, to uh, simply look and listen to the work and give it time and not to worry about uh, uh, making a logical interpretation. That would come, I suppose, later, but to begin with, to simply um, look and listen. And, You know, in this situation, it's not a performance, so they can walk from room to room and see how certain motifs re reoccur in different rooms. Very often, one of the um, notes that, or the points that are raised uh, when uh, facing the work of John Jonas from an um, art history perspective is, what are the meanings? What are the lines of interpretation? How can I understand what I see? And John Jonas is very direct. She always answered, this is not the point at all. It's not about understanding, it's not about meaning. It's about combining your own uh, reading, your own feeling to uh, make an experience out of, of this work. So therefore, if one is looking for a discipline or for a world uh, that helps to um, relate uh, to the work of John Jonas, Very probably, it's poetry. John Jonas is um, perhaps the uh, manifesto of how House of Kunst wants to present itself. Since I started working at the House of Kunst, I had the um, main aim of uh, changing the perception of the institution. On the one hand, by softening the walls and making them porous and transparent. On the other hand, Uh, by highlighting the building and the incredible uh, presence of um, life that surrounds the building. Obviously, when uh, thinking about John Jonas, whose work uh, is public, 
It's a work that engages and has to do with uh, encounter and with bodily perception and with being in front of something that unfolds and develops. The first um, image I had was that of um, uh, extracting one work uh, of her career, a work that she made in the mid-2000 called War Flights, uh, that she um, shot and presented as part of a bigger work and hanging it uh, at the entrance of the House of Queens, exactly under the columns.